discharged honorably in 1990. Thank you! I, I came from a military family. I also was raised in a very upper middle class family in Tennessee. Never thought in a million years that Barbara Ann Barnes would be homeless. But I became homeless. Long story, alcohol was a part of my story. I now have seven years sober. I'm 56 years old. I found myself at the steps of the New England Shelter, Center for Homeless Veterans, last August. My father had passed away. I was in Tennessee. I came back to Boston, because this is where I got my recovery. I cried all the way down the sidewalk to the New England Center for Homeless Veterans. And if you've never been there, I encourage each and every one of you to go. There's all different ways you can volunteer and help out. But I cried all the way down the sidewalk. I cried as I walked through the front door and I took a deep breath. I said, it's gonna be okay. Cry and standing at the front desk checking in. The first thing that they told me was, it's gonna be okay. Um, it's a great place. Oh, I didn't expect to get tearful, but it's changed my life. I've been in my own apartment now on Beacon Hill for eight months. The New England Center for Homeless Vets changed my life. Um, I've been honored and I'm very humbled to be here tonight to share with you on behalf of the center the services they offer um, to visually kind of walk you through. You go through, you get a TB test to make sure you're all healthy. You go through an orientation. You're connected with services all the way from dressing yourself from head to toe. There's food available. They serve three meals a day. You have a wonderful place to, to lay your head at night. You're not laying in the street. They have housing, and that's the focus, is getting veterans housed. We struggle, myself, I struggle with PTSD, alcoholism, other kind of isms. That's a, that's a big part of homelessness and asking for help. There's a, a, a big poster at the VA that says it takes the courage and strength of a warrior to ask for help. It's a wonderful place, as I said. The services are awesome. There's educational services. There's vocational training where they can take a veteran, match up their military training, provide a skill so that they can go out in the community and, and work, employment, housing, Maslow's higher, you know, hierarchy of needs. You gotta have a place to live, you gotta have food to eat, and you gotta feel safe. And those are three things that the New England Center for Homeless Veterans helps with. They help you with employment. There's intensive case management while you're at the center. When I was there, I was there from August until December. Every day I got up, I was out by seven, hit the bricks trying to find a place to live. I found a place to live actually before I got the, the high bash voucher, which is the, the tool by which veterans are being housed. The shelter offers uh, financial compensation to help you with your the financial barriers, the deposit, the first month's rent, the last month's rent. So this is an initiative and this New England Center for Homeless Vets is, is a pilot program to be spread all over the United States and I'm really, really, really proud of what they're doing. Um, it's just growing and growing and growing. I. I really can't say enough. And as any program, you know, we the more help that we get, the more that we can do. And they're getting ready to expand. And they're getting ready to have apartments in the center. And apartments for women in the center. And more women are coming forward and asking for help. And I'm really grateful for each and every person that showed up here tonight and really, really appreciative of the donation that you give, and I'm very appreciative of Adam. Yeah. I'll close 
it's it's people like Adam that change the world. Yeah. So thank you all very much. Thank you for listening to my story. And if you ever have a chance, please do walk in the front door of the New England Center for Homeless Veterans and take a tour and see for yourself what they're doing for the veterans. You'd be very proud. Thank you. Yeah.